Hello again, Site Core friends, and welcome to Site Core Engagement Sessions and Discussions. These sessions discuss the business values and the technical capabilities of our engagement cloud products, and they are spread between us. So we take care of the business part and the business values, and our developer advocacy team will demonstrate technical features and create POCs for the product. This is Ahmed El Yamani, Engagement Cloud Product Marketer at Sitecore. Through the last few sessions, we talked about different capabilities of Sitecore CTPM personalized, such as one-to-one -one personalization enabled by experiences. Also, we talked about personalization through decisioning and the A-B testing enabled by experiments. Today, we're gonna talk about batch segmentation, which another crucial features of our Sitecore CTP. And as usual, we start with a quick reminder on the composable architecture of Sitecore products portfolio. We have content cloud, commerce cloud, and the cloud where Sitecore CDP and personalized lives within the engagement cloud. So most of the features we talked about in last sessions could be found in either Sitecore personalized only or Sitecore personalized and CDP together. However, you need a Sitecore CDP to run batch segmentation, the feature that we're gonna talk about today. And the users with subscription to personalize only will not have access to batch segmentation features. Let's start then by talking about segmentation definitions and some explanations. Segmentation in language is dividing bigger groups into smaller groups for better understanding and handling. In marketing, segmentation remains the same. We divide larger groups of customers to smaller groups so we can approach these sub-markets with specific products and advantages. So why we are doing this? Because basically few products or services can satisfy all possible customers in the market. So if you have a business, typically you have two ways to market your products. So you either you try to sell it to everyone, so you spend a lot of money and time and you hope for the best, or you define your market segments and you tailor your product offering to match specific customers' needs. This has a lot of efficiency and effectiveness. For example, in business terminologies, there is this concept of business of scale where each organization can focus on different products or services and produce them in mass scale and find a niche market that needs these products and, and services. That's why in this case segmentation is very important because it will allow marketers to engage in a meaningful way and to provide real values to customer segments without specifically knowing the preferences of each individual. That's why we like to think and say co-personalize that decisioning is the way to provide one-to-one -one personalization alongside experiences, while segmentation is our way to deliver personalized experiences for more of sub-market groups and defined target segments. Segmentation is also very useful when used as part of larger marketing concepts such as market targeting and product positioning. The whole marketing process would be challenging to be explained in one slide, but I can give a quick high level overview. It usually starts by understanding the market. So we use tools and technologies such as Sitecore CDP and personalized segmentation to divide the potential customer base into meaningful markets and subgroups based on defined criteria related to your products. Then we can use analytics and statistics besides market research to identify initial groups that we should focus on where we can outperform competition and also making sure that we will generate revenue out of these subgroups. Which finally leads to the positioning phase where we focus our messaging to show how our products can solve and serve real needs for the target segments that we chose. Segmentation then can be used to achieve different objectives or business values for your brand. For example, you can continuously discover and rediscover your market segments so you can keep ahead of competition and make sure that you're efficiently increasing your pipeline. Or you can use segmentation to build brand consistency by keeping a relevant communication tone with your customers. Or even, you can use the personalized relationship with your customers to gain insights on how to develop your products so they are more compelling to your market segments. Many other business values can be gained with segmentation. You are welcome to visit Sitecore Knowledge Center website with the link in the description to learn different ways on how to use segmentation to achieve different business values. 
There are many ways to build your segmentations criteria based on. Although there is no right way to do it, still there are known practices and famous variables to build segmentation, and they overlap sometimes. For example, you can categorize your customers based on information about where they are located, such as their country, specific cities, or based on the climate that they live within. We also have the demographic segmentation, where we can categorize customers based on non-identifiable traits such as their age, income level, or lifestyle. This is particularly useful when we have differences in preferences and habits, which might lead to different purchasing habits, so it can affect our products and offering portfolio. Again, be aware of generalization and stereotyping when you attempt demographic segmentation. There are also certain regulations in some countries and regions that you should take care of when you design demographic segmentation. Similar to demographic segmentation, we have the thermographic segmentation, which creates customer categories but based on the organization types and mostly used in B2B context. It's useful to understand the environment and the challenges that facing your business customers so you can build your offering accordingly. Additionally, we have psychographic segmentation, which creates categories by using traits rooted in customers' personalities, habits, and their preferences. And that leads us to the behavioral segmentation, which doesn't categorize customers based on what they think, believe, or where they belong, but more of it tries to understand their patterns of behaviors and react accordingly. Systems like Psycho CTP and personalized segmentations help us to achieve such segmentation criteria through predictions and organization techniques. Because the system is connected to your online web and other different channels, so you can listen to your customers' behaviors and look at their history, so you can build more solid segments on. Well, let's talk a little bit then about what's available in segmentation inside Site Core CDP. First thing to call out here is that if you are using Site Core Personalize, you will be having access to personalization features, including real time audience. That's why I want to call out the differences between batch segmentation and real-time audiences. So batch segmentation. Batch segmentation runs every night and it processes all the data for your tenant inside Sitecore CDP Data Lake. It is specifically useful if you are exporting data to other parties using Sitecore audience synchronization feature, or if you want to access historic data. So for example, you might have data for a couple of years and you want to build segments on the first year of customers that access to your channels. So that would be available with Sitecore batch segmentation. When it comes to real-time audience, it allows you ability to process online and real-time a single customer behavior and gives you the capability to respond using personalization, for example, to this behavior. The main difference between it and segmentation that it doesn't store historic data. So you cannot, for example, create reports based on aggregated customers details. And of course, it gives this real time context processing capability. In today's session, we are talking though about batch segmentation, the first one here. Inside site core CDP segmentation, there are a lot of features and UX design capabilities allowed for you to control your segments. For example, you have combined operators such as OR and AND, so you can combine different conditions to build your segments. You can also view summary reports and statistics showing you details about your segments. For example, how many users and uh, how many visitors are inside these segments, how, how much they increased or decreased per the last periods, and the other details such as unique records within these segments. We also have type ahead features that kind of auto-completes what you are looking for while you are building segments using the details and data included in your record sets and users details. Finally, segmentation allows you also an advanced segments features that your developers can write SQL code directly to build up custom segments using segment builder interface. So building a batch segment, I'll go quickly over the steps that we go over to build a segment and then I'll show you how we build segments using Sitecore CDP interface. So first thing is planning and we need always to uh, identify what is the features of the segments that we want to build and we need to work with our marketing teams and strategy teams to identify when and where these segments will be used. That will impact 
uh, how we're going to build these segments. And actually, this is something that we iterate upon all the features that we use in the Sitecore CDP system. Now we need to plan ahead before starting with design phase. Maybe you're planning to send these segments data somewhere, or maybe you just want to build the segments to check up some analytics as per the business usage that we showed earlier in this presentation, but there is no meaning in building a segment and not using it basically. Once we are happy with the plan, we can go to Sitecore CDP Segmentation Builder and start designing the segments using the different filtering conditioning capabilities. And we'll show that in a minute. Then after we make sure that this is the segment that we want to build, we can say it to be alive, so we can use it in different components of the system. So once you say it alive, you can use it in experiences or experiments as part of personalization or A-B testing. So you can filter down users or visitors get exposed to your experiences or use it as a part of your decision models. Or you can use this exported segments data to reports or to different channels. Let's go now to Sitecore CDP segmentation building window and show how can we build a new segments. So here I'm inside site, one of Sitecore CDP tenants uh, batch segmentation window. And you can see here a list of all the running segments and the draft segments with numbers of users inside each of these uh, segments. Let's go and create a new segment then. Let's say I want to address all the users in the US with messages around Sitecore Symposium Chicago this year. So I'll call it Chicago 2020. And once I get there, I can add filter. So you can see all the entities, including the behavioral entities and the transactional entities. Transactional entities will be stored in order and order items and events, and behavior and stuff related to our guests themselves would be stored in the guests and the sessions. So uh, let's say uh, I want to address users in the US. Well, so I'd say users came in from country as US. I can calculate before I go how many users this condition applies to. It shows me that there are three already three members in the system that this condition applies to. I can save it and carry on. For running segments, we can see active details and dashboards showing us the activities of these segments. So as you see here, in the beginning, we can see number of members in the segment, the percentage of this number towards all the numbers of users in the system. So the percentage of your users in this segment against the whole users count in the system. Latest added or removed users through the last batch run and the change percentage in the segmentation. We can see on, in which flows this segment is used and in which decision models this segment is used. We can see also the additions and removals of users inside this segment. Then the segment can be used within either decision models, experiences, experiments, or within audience things. You can export the outputs of this system to your other MarTech stack technology uh, platforms. This was a quick overview on how segmentation looks like inside Sitecore CTP. Please stay tuned for the next session where we'll be talking about audience sync and discover how to export details and data from your CDP systems to activate your different MarTech stack inside your organization through webhooks and different connection technologies. Thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed this session. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this content and give us feedback to know how to make this content better for the next times. And as usual, I'll encourage you to please post your questions to Sitecore Stack Overflow channels and Sitecore Slack chat communications. If you have any inquiries regarding CDP and Personalize, you also can send them to the topic specific channel inside Sitecore Slack. Thank you and see you next time.